When I was a kid, I would go down to a store in Pullman, Washington and buy candy and comics. And my mom knew this, of course. And so one day I'm at work and she calls me and says, I'm down at the auction. And they were selling stuff that people had left in storage units too long. And she said there were two boxes of comics and did I want to um, have her bid on them? And I said, sure. And so she brought them home and in the box were these two comics. And um, about five months ago, she calls me and I had a whole bunch of stuff in their attic. And she said she needed me to come and take them out of the attic because um, they were taking up too much space and they were consolidating stuff. Now, do you have any idea what she paid for the uh, box of comics at auction? Yes, she paid $24 for the box. Oh, only one box, but then oh. you said there were two up for there auction. There were two boxes and she looked in the other one and there were some toys in mm -hmm. the top but comics underneath, and this one was filled with comics, so she bid on that one, which to this day, I kind of wonder what might have been in the <laughs> other box. Well, you brought in a tremendous collection of comics, but I chose only two. Yeah. We have the Avengers number one from September of 1963, and wow. Avengers number two from November of 1963. So the reason I chose these two comics is because right now the Avengers are very big in the public right, consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. In 2015, Marvel Comics released their latest movie, Avengers Age of Ultron. Yes. And you've got coming out in his first movie very soon. I heard about this, Ant-Man. Ant-Man. I mean, these are some of the most iconic Marvel superheroes. I mean, it's written by Stan Lee, the art by Jack Kirby with just some creators of such amazing, amazing characters. Stuff we both grew up with and grew to love. And then we've got Avengers number two, and it introduces a new character, the Space Phantom, which unfortunately, I don't think anyone really knows about anymore. Yeah. One thing about comic books that really changes the value on is condition. Now, these aren't in what we would consider mint condition. Right. Far from it. Yeah. You've got creases by the staples. You've, you've got a section here that is completely folded back. Right. You've got what we call a rolled cover which means the cover is slightly offset, especially on this one, it's particularly bad. Do you have any idea what the value might be on them? I honestly really don't. At auction, in what we would consider unprofessionally graded condition, this would sell for around $450 to $550. Really? Wow. That's really cool. But Avengers number one, we estimate in this condition, it would probably sell at auction for between $4,000 to $6,000. No way, you are kidding me. In that condition, wow, my mom is going to freak out. <laughs> I cannot believe that she kept them all these years. She's totally not gonna believe this story. Seriously, wow, oh my God, that is unbelievable. That is amazing. I don't even wanna to touch her now. <laughs> mom, you did good. <laughs>